Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you guys how to make a delicious barbacoa. In case you just want to how to make this super easy and delicious recipe, just stay tuned and I'll show you how. Alrighty guys, so let's get started with our ingredients. So for this recipe, we're going to need 6 pounds of beef or goat. I'm using chuck roast and short ribs. A half a cup of rice. A half a cup of garbanzo beans. Maguey or banana leaves. One large onion. One head of garlic. Two to four chipotle peppers. Four bay leaves. Two avocado leaves, eight whole cloves, a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon, two teaspoons of oregano, two teaspoons of thyme, and one teaspoon of marjoram. One and a half tablespoons of whole black pepper and coarse salt. So these are ingredients, now let's get started. All right guys, so first we're going to start by crushing our spices. So in my blender, or you can use your mocajete, we're going to throw in our four bay leaves, our whole cloves, our peppercorn and salt. And the salt, I'm using two tablespoons and a half, but that's going to be up to, your, up to you. So now we're just going to blend that together and crush it. All right, so once we have that, we're going to add the remaining of our spices. So I have the oregano, thyme, and margarine, along with the cinnamon. And I'm just going to crush it a little bit. All right, so once we have that, we're going to marinate our meat. All right guys, so now we're going to rub our meat with our spices. So just make sure that you coat your meat in the creases and everywhere. And then the fattier your meat is, the better. All right, so as we have that, we're going to transfer into a bowl. So just make sure your, all of your meat is marinated or coated. All right guys, so once we have our meat seasoned with the rub, now we're going to cover it and let that sit for at least two hours. So we're going to put it in the refrigerator. All right guys, so after two hours, we're going to get our meat out of the refrigerator and now we're going to prepare our leaves. All right guys, so you just wanna make sure that you wash your leaves very good, uh, front and back, and then make sure that you dry them. And this is where we're going to be wrapping our meat and they're gonna be cooking inside the leaves. All right guys, so once we have our leaves all nice and clean, now we're just going to pass them through the heat. So you're gonna see how they're gonna change color. So just pass them through them. This is just going to soften them up. So like that, it's going to be easy to wrap our meat. So that's done. And just repeat the process to all of your leaves. All right guys, so once we have our leaves ready, now we're going to get our steamer pot and we're going to place our onion. I just cut it in half, our garlic head. So just make sure that you cut it in half as well. Our chile chipotles, our rice, and garbanzo beef. So to that, I'm going to add about 12 cups of water. Now I'm just going to put my little divider for the steamer. All right, so inside our steamer pot, we're going to place our leaves. And we're going to build kind of like a little bed where we're going to be covering our meat. All right, so once we place our leaves around our steamer pot, now we're going to place our meat inside of the leaves or the pot. All right, so now we're going to add our two avocado leaves. And now we're going to cover our meat. Okay. So now we're going to cover it and we're going to set it on our stove. So we're going to set it on medium heat and we're just going to allow it to cook 
for at least three hours. All right, guys, so it's been three hours and 30 minutes. So, but this time our meat should be fully cooked. And let me tell you that it smells delicious. Remove your leaves. Look at that. Ooh. Yeah, see how tender the meat is? So now we can shred it. And then we can get our tacos going. I'm going to transfer my meat out so like that I can shred it. And then we can get the broth because the broth is going to be our consomme. All right, guys, so I transferred my meat to a different pot. And this is our consomme over here. So now we can remove it. And there it is. You can remove like the onion and garlic and then just kind of uh, pour your broth like that or you can strain it. So now I'm just going to shred my meat so we can make our tacos. So grab your meat. I'm going to stuff them real good. I'm going to grab my habanero salsa. My cilantro and onion. A little bit of lime. And of course, our consomme. Into the consomme, I'm just going to add a little bit of cilantro and onion, some lime juice. And now we are ready to enjoy our delicious tacos de barbacoa. Alrighty guys, and now for the best part, the taste test. I am so ready to put in there. Mm. Seriously, it's super delicious. The flavor is just so delicious. The broth, you guys, is so good. The meat, super tender, super flavorful. It's just the best. Alrighty guys, and there you have it on how to make a delicious barbacoa. I hope you guys had enjoyed watching this video, and if you did, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Share it with your friends and family, and if you recreate this recipe, please don't forget to tag me on any of my social medias. And if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button so you guys can be part of our family. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye.